I hear from a lot of people who are tired of all these high taxes and all the BS that's happening in California, Florida, the Northeast, and even parts of the upper Midwest. Maybe now's the time for a change of scenery. Do you feel like you're getting your value out of taxes you're paying? Of course not. The government's taking your money and spending it inefficiently. This couple called from California last week and they were talking to me about a thousand square foot apartment for $3,000 a month. And I thought, you can buy a showplace property here for that. And that's what I've got to show you here today. A showplace for the same payment. And you'll own it. And it goes up in value. And it's got six acres and not 866 square feet. Check out the prices of apartments here in California. Now, I know Kentucky ain't California, but it ain't California either. 866 square foot apartment. For how much? The veranda on this house is bigger than that. That's a mortgage on a beautiful small farm with a barn and a pond and a pool and near the lake. And yes, there's broadband here too. 10 to 15 minutes to all the shopping you'll ever need in a hospital and 30 minutes to like Sam's Club and Lexington and the airport and all that, going out to dinner if you want. With the shutdown last year, lots of people had the realization that you can make a living from anywhere. You might be thinking to yourself, what am I losing by leaving? What am I losing by staying? Come with me today and I'm gonna show you this showplace property on six acres with an in-ground pool and a gazebo and all the fun family living you'd ever want. And plenty of room to stretch out, over 5,000 square feet. Make some popcorn, hang out with me, and we're gonna go everywhere on this property. You'll love it, I promise. I'm gonna show you the whole property. This property is just a little bit different than you're used to, and I'm excited to show it to you. Oh, wait till you see the aerials. They're probably some of the best I've ever done. I could say silly things like those real estate agents. This property boasts over 5,000 square feet. It has a spacious kitchen. You know I'm not one of those dorky real estate salesmen. I'm just gonna tell you the way it is. This is a show place. Now thinking about the house, thinking about all the features it has, and I almost forgot to tell you is that it's just a mile or two, maybe three, to the lake. That's a big deal if you like the marina or you have a bow or Jet skis, the jet skis are just great, right? You can't buy just one jet ski, you gotta get two. You're just a mile or two. So you can have your lake house, but you can just run down to the lake and well, come on back here. All those dorky real estate agents out there wanna tell you all these superlatives, spacious and spectacular and all that other stuff. We don't buy things, we buy feelings. That's what I like about this whole property is it has feelings. So I feel family when I come in here and I hope you feel the same. I'm gonna give you a whole tour. Priced in the sevens, call Ken, the number's right here. He can tell you what the actual price is and help you negotiate. But I told you right up front now, so don't give me no lip, don't tell me no lies, and don't give me no lip. That'd be a good song. And we're gonna go inside. It's a full cavity search this morning. I'm gonna give you one on this house, not on you, because I can't reach you because you're in the TV. But I'm gonna go right in here. <laughs> dad joke number one. We're not gonna do a dad joke counter because I'm not gonna do any more dad jokes. I'm done, we're out. It's over. You know what an architect is about. He wants to make, or she wants to make you a, a beautiful piece of art that reflects their style and it reflects your livability and things like that. You know what? It's about the moments. So I'm gonna show you many moments in here. When I think of moments, I think about time spent together. Glass of wine with your honey, dinner every night with your kids, have just special times together. Anyway, we're going for full cavity search. Come on now, let's go. Not only do these people live immaculately, immaculate, yeah, immaculate, not immaculously. No, that, that would be immaculately, immaculately. These people live immaculately. Not only that, but this house was a builder's house. The builder built it for himself. He was the builder of the builder's house. <laughs> oh my God, it's a long week. It's Wednesday, Brad, it's Wednesday, maybe Tuesday. I don't even know what it is. Gorgeous, huh? Gonna give you a full sweep around the front. And it's the lake, literally the bridge goes over the lake and there's marina there and everything. I don't know, maybe one, two, three miles away. You'll see in the aerial right here that the lake is pretty daggone close. Back in the day here in Kentucky, you'd have cisterns, which is basically like a big tank, you know, big concrete tank to catch water off the roof. And a lot of times they would build these porches like this, and this would be the cistern top. And then of course the gutter would go right in there. Well, we don't need to do that anymore because we have municipal water just about everywhere. Now, I'm not gonna say the whole state, but all the counties we work in, you definitely have municipal water. When I grew up, we had well water. When I grew up, we didn't have Roundup. This is good water. It comes out of the lake right there. 
and is treated and tested properly. And then it comes out here. So you don't have any well, you don't have any well pump, you don't have any expansion tank. And when the power goes out, guess what? You still got water. Now, I think the minimum is maybe 30 bucks a month or 25 bucks a month. We use a little bit over that. Our bill runs almost a hundred bucks every two months. So pretty cheap, no power to run it. And again, when the power goes out, woohoo, it's nice. First thing you see is this fantastic staircase barrel ceiling. Big goopy chandelier. I like goopy things. And a gorgeous window. Now I'm using superlatives again. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Home office or den or what would you use it for? You know, again, back in the day, I had buddies uh, who, ha who were like chiropractors or whatever. They'd have their table right here in their home. You could do that here. Now this is schwanky. What do you think of this? That deep red is fantastic. All right, glasses on, glasses on. 5,200 square feet. Now, this property is in two tracks. You can buy one or you can buy both. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. You do what you want to do. But this, there's one that's almost six acres and then a conjoining one. That means they're side by side. There's about six acres. It's 5.8 or 5.9. I haven't seen the plat. If I have a copy of it, I'll definitely put it here. Then you'll know exactly what the certified amount is. The seller told us that it was 5.8, 5.9. And then a conjoining lot that's exactly the same size. Look at this. Nice. I'm classy, aren't I? That's exactly the same size and it's over on the side. Buy one or buy two. I'm not telling you what to do. A little Uncle Brad advice. Always, 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 always. Three times. Buy conjoining land. When Cindy and I bought where we are right now, we had 120 acres. We now have 215. You can only get that one way. Buy, buy, buy. Someone passes away, someone moves, jump in and do it. I don't know how much it is. I don't care if you buy it or not, but you'll have full control over that. And maybe your kid wants to build a house or something like that. Who knows? This is the real deal, granite or granite or marble. Granite or quartz, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Here, you tell me what it is. Double convection ovens. Oops. You see the fan in the back? Okay, so you got cookies, 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 cookies. This one's gonna burn and these are not. They're gonna be raw. The fan, everything gets done at the same time. And if you like to roast meat, or make french fries or anything, makes everything crispy. Trust me, a convection oven is well worth the investment and you don't have to invest in it because they already put one in for you. These are all soft clothes. Of course, when you get a house in the sevens, everything should be soft clothes. What the heck? These are extra deep and extra deep this way too. Wow, I wish I could have stuff like that. I'm going in a little corner and I can't find the thing in the back and all that. That one's real heavy. Is it going to close? Nope. Too much weight in there. There's a lot of glass. Pantry right here. Now, if you're a cook like me, you want all the pantry you can get. Well, there's another little pantry or coat closet or whatever here and right here. So you could literally put your cleaning stuff here and you could put your food in here. This, of course, is the car park, as they say, over the pond. How's that for a UK accent? Oversized two car, and there's a uh, central vac. They didn't tell me that, it's not on the list. Do you see where it says central vac here, one place? No. 5,200 square feet, master bed on the first floor, two bedrooms upstairs, and then two bedrooms downstairs. They're not officially bedrooms because they don't have a window or some BS. You know as well as I do. You and I would definitely use them as bedrooms. I'll show them to you later on. And then there's three and a half baths throughout. You got a home office downstairs, home office upstairs. I'm sorry. Home office downstairs and home office on this level. I'll be okay. I didn't have any wine last night or anything. Look at that. So we call that a tray ceiling. I say Trey Bien. 
I told you, no dad jokes. I'm penalized 10 yards for that one. This is a big area here. There's six chairs and a big table. Ah, there you go. There's the vacuum. Oh yeah, sweep it in. Nice. I don't know how you do that. I already do that, and you go like that, and it shuts off. I don't want to break something. Oh, there it goes. Then you just shut it, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Here's another one. You go like that, and then you're all done. Stick the hose in and let her fly. Is this an entertaining house? There's your moments, right? We're going to entertain. We're going to make it cool. My, gra my, my grandmother. My mother says, why don't the grandkids come over? Because there's nothing for them to do at your place except chores. Nothing. You want to have family over? I love my family. You want to have family over? You want your grandkids to be with you? Give them good stuff to do. Fun stuff. Make moments. Now that's a moment right there. Nice gas fireplace. Just sitting, chilling. Chilling like a villain. Oh, by the way, these uh, doors have the little blinds inside. And yeah, they do break every now and then. But you can get to them. You just... Pop that out, pull this, fix it, replace this panel, pop it right back in. It's really not expensive, and it's not anything to freak out over. I used to freak out over that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like who invented that? That was stupid. No, 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 no. They know how to do it. That's right. All this railing is new. All the joists under here are new. They replaced all the joists. I don't know why. Put, a, put the railing up. I know why they put the railing up. I'll bet you this is a lot prettier than what was there. I don't know what was there. Oh, that's right. He told me all new brick columns. So I don't know what was there before, but these are all new brick columns. And then they did the railing. This railing is all custom made, hand welded, and then powder coated. So, you know, it's going to stay like that for a long, 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 long time. And it is sturdy as sturdy can be. Oh. Another moment. Now, we got the gazebo out there. Another moment. That's what makes the house fun. This is what makes the kids come over. This is why your friends come over. They want to sit in the gazebo. Does everybody have a gazebo? Of course not. That's why your friends want to come over. It's like, hey, you want to come over? Sure, what do you got to do? Well, we can sit on the couch. Hey, you want to come over? We'll hang out at the gazebo. We'll have a charcuterie board. And then we'll dip our toes in the pool. Oh, yeah, I'll be right over. You could even call me and I'll come over. All wood up there. Beautiful. They really outdid themselves with this. Don't need privacy. There's a neighbor over there, yes. You know why it's good to have a neighbor? Somebody to watch the place. Somebody to just holler to. Hey, we're going to be gone for a week. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. That's the way we roll. You've got a 36 by 48. I believe that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Barn in the back. And it looks like that. Oh, speaking of having friends and family over, there's a full RV hookup out there. It's got water, and it's got a 30 amp jobber. And then, you see where this... You see where that propane tank is? That's for the fireplace. There's a 30 amp RV... Uh, receptacle over there. You're going to have your weird Uncle Harold or your weird brother or whatever come and, hey, look, we're going to come and stay for a week. There you go. This is the pretty vinyl. I love this. And it's also the heavy duty stuff. You can feel it. I like these people. You know I love people. Yeah, they've got puppies and they've got an invisible fence. Now, check this out. One more time out here. We're momenting here. Oh, oh, and the, uh, check it out. A lighted basketball court. Now it's not a full court. It's just something to go play some hoops and have fun with your kids. Two zones on the invisible fence. One's for the front here, and you see this, this fence here that kind of delineates the front yard and the backyard. And then there's another whole invisible fence back there that goes even past the big barn, which that barn is 38 by 48 with a 12 foot door. The 45 foot motorhome 
slides right in there. He's got a Prevost or Prevo or however you pronounce that. I'm not French, I have no idea. Engineered flooring, it's all new and it is sharp as a tack. I like it. Do you like it? It looks like ancient wood. It's got bevels on all four sides. Mmm, beautiful. Now, one of my favorite places, talk about a moment. If you guys are into all that stuff, this is a little powder room off of the living room. Pretty swanky. You have to have swankitude to impress all your friends. The master bedroom. All right, let's start here first, which what used to be a closet, there's a closet, don't worry about it, it's, like, it's a magnificent closet. This is a makeup room. Good Lord. I tell my sons, you can't afford it. Don't worry about it. Keep moving on. Now, this ledge, this first ledge here, has LEDs or rope light or something like that that goes around, and that's on a switch. So you can turn that off. If I closed all the blinds, it'd be creepy. It'd be creepy for me just to be in somebody's house closing all the blinds, so I'm not going to do that. There you go, you can see it now. Woo! This is a sexy place. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. So that used to be the closet, and then this was something else, I don't know what it is. Let me show you something. Hold on, hold tight. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. Frosted glass. And by the way, if you have doors like this, or if you have like, your, like our office, we have a big window like that, and the toilet's right there. And all the girls are like, ah. You just, you just take some spray and you can actually frost this glass with a spray can. It's amazing technology. I mean, it's just like, you know, like a little Rust-Oleum Krylon thing. Little closet here. This would be mine, because that's all I need. And then we have, it was supposed to be an octave higher, but I can't go any higher, that's it. That's all you got. And by the way, this is laundry room number two. There's one There's one that we looked at by the garage, right? Come in with muddy whatever, take them off right there. And then, of course, this is where all your laundry is generated. Bathroom and bedroom. Pretty, isn't it? I wonder what they keep in here. Woo! Boy, that's a lot of socks. Okay. Ironing board. Who does that? I asked my wife to iron one time. She handed me vitamins. Real leaded glass. And it's like double pane. So there's one here and one there. Here are the bubbles to my bath. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to cry. It's so sweet. Well, those things like at the cruise line. I like that. It's pretty fancy. That's a walk-in deal, probably three by four. Dual vanities, like dueling banjos, but not really. Not sure what the wood is. I don't know whether it's birch or maple. If you know, let me know. We can find out. The cabinets in the kitchen are the same. The WC, water closet, if you will. And if you're, if you're worried about, I mean... It comes up to my bro line, but if you're worried about anybody seeing you here, you could literally spray that stuff right on this lower panel. And then you don't have to put curtains up because curtains just make it darker. All right, let's go upstairs. A whole lot to show you here. Going as fast as I can. Stick around to the end, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And walk out basement, you're gonna have to make your pledge your oath. You'll see later. We'll talk about it. Hold on to that thought because we're going to talk about it. Uncle Brad is not done without his pledge and oath. Nice. That's a kid's closet. You think I'm going to open that up? Ain't no way. There you go. Party Central. 
Gotta have fun. Everybody likes LED strips. Ah! That was a shriek, a shrill. A oh, heck no. Tile floor. That's the way it belongs. Nice. The Mexicans call them nichos. So like a niche for your stuff. And you can put pretty things in there and things that, that are important to you, like family. All right, so upstairs, just two bedrooms and one bath. Now we're going. Now we're going down. Now you talk about a place for some LED strips. Are you feeling it? Another Nicho. Built-ins, bookcases. Fantastic. Another fireplace, gas. And you got to talk to Ken about what's included. He says, he says, this is a love sack couch. I don't know anything about it, but they just bought it like just weeks before they got transferred or whatever. LVT flooring, this on concrete. This is like, you talk about indestructible. You got ice skate on this stuff. What happens here stays here. You know what I like about that? That tells you, you come here, you can have a good time. Your secret's safe with me. You can let your hair down and you never be judged. That's what it means. Or it means it gets pretty wild here, or maybe both. And I find that attractive. Okay, here's the oath. Now this is left or right? It's my left, but it might be your right. I'll have to see. So you have to raise your right hand and repeat after me and say, I, I, state your name, state your name. Very funny, very funny. Uh-oh, dad jokes. I promise that I will listen to my Uncle Brad and I will never, ever build a house without a walkout basement, without a full walkout basement. This is magnificent living space and it's very inexpensive to do. While you're building, you're gonna need a footer. This has a footer. You're gonna need some kind of a crawl space wall. What is that gonna be? Five feet. Mouth will go another three feet. Here you are. Right on out. Wah! You double the square foot of the house, you get more moments. You run out to the pool, and guess what? You ain't gonna flood. You ever hear people flooding their basements? Doesn't happen. No more, because you built a house or you buy a house with a full walkout basement. Magnificent. Okay. Back in. More built-ins, people love those. Why? Because you don't have to buy stuff and put there that doesn't look as good as this, and you get a lot more room. My gosh, I mean, you can have books in there till the cows come home. Pac-Man, very cool. Man, I would want that. I don't know if you'd ever negotiate that away from the seller. I like this thing too. How fun, be down here with your kids, it's like, hey, I'll challenge you to some basketball. Get a little exercise. You have a little fun. You suck at basketball like me. Come on, I'm really, I'm trying. Hey, got one, got one, got one. No, nope, I was on a roll there for a little while. All right. Oh, hey. Now, there you go. See, that's it. Well, there you go. Have you ever seen me? I'm not the basketball type. I'm not very tall. <laughs> I'm not very fast. And I can't jump worth a sh Chalkboard. Talk about stuff for your kids. This chalkboard paint, place for their toys. And this is all just under the stairs. And then you got this little cat house in here. Are you kidding me? Do you know what kids would do? You talk about playing with the boxes. This is the playing with the boxes thing. They don't play with the toys, they play with the boxes for Christmas. There you go. Got the family room. We've got the game room or you know, dining room-ish area. Maybe you got multi-generational stuff going on. Now this can't be legally called a bedroom because it doesn't have a window or whatever. And you know what I say to that? Whatever. This is magnificent. 
That's a bigger closet than I got. So multi-gen, put mom or dad down here. Cindy's dad's in a nursing home. Now it's $5,800 a month. What the heck? I mean, you could actually have three people down here. Teenage kids, maybe your daughter with her kids or whatever. Who knows? What's your situation like? What could you use it for? You got to think about all that stuff. The weight room. You know, the ironic thing is, I don't know how to spell exercise. No, really, it's like E-X-C-I-S. -I, I mess it up every time. Irony. Full bath. Tile floor. Is that organic vinegar or something? Never saw it like that. It looks good. Now that's a safe window for a bedroom. You just open that rascal out and there you are. And another reason to have the walkout basement. There you are. Weight room. Golf cart and lawnmower garage. And more weights. I don't know what they're doing with all these weights. They must be getting fit or something. I don't know. Another thing I don't know much about. Train made right here in Lexington, Kentucky. You can't stop a train. Two complete heat pumps. So two zones. One on the tippy top floor and one on this floor, which goes up. TJI's, trust joists. The builder knew what he was doing. Poured walls, extra thick. They're more than eight inches thick. Fantastic. These were also done with metal forms where this is uh, concave and thus metal forms. You can't get that look any other way. Everything's done right and you got full access. That's another reason you need a full walkout basement. Access to everything. All right, hold on with me. Don't be running off. Oh, wait a minute. I got to show you one of the best things about the entertainment level. This lower level. Ready? A galley kitchen. Gorgeous. Everything you need. Remember, we always look in people's fridges. I try to help you because I know you want to see what's in there. Whoa, he's got a brisket in there. But no beer. We're going to have to have a talk. And a full pantry. Sweet pantry. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch that dial. Daggone it. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, real quick. Back here. Remember the porch? And I was talking to you about the cistern and all that jazz. Well, this is what they did. They made great use of that porch up there. Those are steel I-beams, steel decking, 26 gauge, no doubt. Then the concrete poured on the top. And there you go. Dry as a bone. And I've, what I've seen people do down here is they do full workshops. I mean, this has got to be eight. It's got to be eight foot this way. So full workshops, you put in a 16-inch workbench down this side you got plenty of room or i've seen people reload you know they, they reload their own ammunition that's another thing you could do you could make wine down here it stays nice and cool it's got a sump pump in case anything goes squirrely and when all this stuff is out of here it will be hugely huge so that you can envision all your stuff in here and then once you put all your stuff in here then it'll look exactly like that. Ha! You think I'm kidding. Again, blinds here in the doors. And then, another moment. Now, I don't know where you want to eat. We eat outside in the summer all the time. So upstairs is kind of like a little bit fancier, reading a book, maybe having a glass of wine. Maybe you want to eat down here, put a big stainless steel table out here, a big picnic table. And then you can put your grills. Okay, so the big green egg goes there. The pellet grill goes there. So on and so forth. And the Weber kettle goes over there. Oh, there's the grills. <laughs> this is cool. This is all made out of barrels. These are barrel staves. 
And then you've got a big tub in there. There are the beers with a drain. Nice. And of course that keeps the wood nice and dry. We gotta go in the back yet to see the big barn. Let's go look at the pool. There's a fountain over here. There's some kind of algae thing and there's some kind of a story about a vacuum cleaner. You have to ask Ken. Don't even talk to me about it. It sounded like I couldn't even talk to you about it posted on the public. Yes, the pool is a little bit cloudy. We're having the same problem at our house and it might be pollen or whatever. Temperature, there's temperature changes. I don't know anything about pools and hot tubs, but my wife does. She knows how to fix them. And so does this guy, but he's traveling. He's not even here. You might have to call a pool boy. My, my wife is always threatening. If I don't do the honeydew list, she says, well, I'll just call the pool boy to do it. I don't like the sounds of that at all. Another moment. It's hard to get bored when you have moments. I was just looking up apartments in the United States. Well, of course, San Francisco is really high. And it's like a two-bedroom apartment or one-bedroom apartment. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. And I'll put it here. Well, your mortgage wouldn't be just a little bit more than that on this property with six acres and a barn and RV hookups and a pond that's stocked. They got big catfish and everything out there. And a place for your kids to have other kids over to play hoops, to shoot hoops, and by the lake. You don't need a lake house. Sell your house, combine your assets. Don't buy another house and a lake house. Buy this house, and then you can use it as your lake house. What are you, two, three minutes, four minutes down? Slide the jet skis in, slide them back up. Come on up here and have dinner and drinks. You see these deals here? That's some kind of a cover. I'm sure it's a spectacular cover. They got the little robot to keep things clean. That's kind of a must. I'm gonna walk out this way, show you how close you are to the garage. There you are. Now, there's a whole area up here. I'll put a photograph of the bookcase upstairs. You gotta turn that rascal into one of those like trick doors. What do they call it? Like a hidden door. And you just tap on it and it spins around. And then you've got another whole, what, four or 500 square feet uh, that you could finish above the garage if you need extra space. That would actually make a heck of a home office. Let's go back and see what's going on. There's the 30 amp. There's the gas tank. You can literally just park right there, level out, and then you're done. Now, here's an interesting thing you'll want to know. On the other six acres, 5.8, 5.9, whatever it is, is a footer and foundation for another house. Ten years ago, someone started it. And well, unfortunately life gets in the way and they never finished it and there you are. So if you wanted to fiddle with building a new house, you'd probably take a look at that footer and foundation. You're talking about a lot of money in today's, in today's dollars with everything going so high. Got a lot of money there. All right, let's see what's going on here. You don't realize how big six acres really is. Six acres is a big drink of water. Now you've got a couple options. If you want to jump on a tractor and mow, I can talk to you about that. I'll go inside first, make sure we don't have wind issues here. Here is water. One of these frost-proof hydrants. This is actually a Simmons, I believe. It sure looks like one. And these are uh, lead, lead free and it's going out. It's going out there. And I don't know where the 30 amp is, but we're gonna find one. All new concrete. All right, there you go, 38 to 48. Pretty sweet. I mean, like ultra sweet. There are fans in there taking the hot air out. If you wanna mow, you can get on one of these bad boys. 
And that could be just your time. You know, you're like your chill time. Talk to Ken about negotiating. I, I have no idea if they have any interest in, the, in leaving that or selling it or whatever. First thing you got to do is replace these with hard tires because that one's almost flat and this one's completely flat. And they have hard tires for those. You can even get them on eBay. The only thing you got to watch out for, they're almost all the same size, but what you got to watch out for is the real thick and wide. These brackets look like they're the big thick and wide ones. They're not that expensive, maybe 40 bucks a piece or something like that, 80 bucks, 100 bucks for two of them. And you never have to worry about them going flat again. Those things mow at Mach 10. And I'm here to tell you, they're a lot of fun. So you either hire somebody to do it or you do it. You throw a couple calves out there. You throw a couple horses out there. Of course, sheep and goats. The goats will eat the briars and the sheep will be the lawnmowers. And you can throw some sheep out here. You're in good shape. Beautiful shop. Skylights. Power. And I have no idea where the 30 amp deal is. And if you want to play around, we actually have a tractor like this. It's got a loader, it's got a bush hog. Uh, you could even throw a little driveway grader on these, four wheel drive. This thing is priceless to have on a farm like this. Talk to Ken, they might do something with it. It's a 2018. There you have it. I think we hit everything, but we've got bloopers and aerials, so hold tight. I think we hit all the closets too, if I didn't. Holler to me and I'll try to get some pictures of that and uh, send them to you. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. I know I have. I've been here four hours. Four. Holy moly. That's like a big deal. It was a lot to show. I promised you a full cavity search, which I hope I've accomplished properly. If I have, like, share, and subscribe. It helps our channel. It helps my family. It helps me. And I know I'm doing something right for a change, which is nice. I know I'm doing something that you all like to see. We got a wide variety this week, didn't we? We got a farm, we got this place, and we got a mobile home, we got all kinds of stuff. I just wanna get you inside some of these crazy houses. It's pretty cool, you know, it's a cool business. It's a cool thing for me to do. Getting other people's houses is like, I wonder how they live. You know what? People like this live like this, and you can too. Just make it happen. You can make it happen, you can make moments, and you can be here with family, doing special stuff with a house like this. You're gonna have your kids nearby, your grandkids nearby. You're gonna have plenty of friends because, well, it's a cool ass place. And if you've got a cool ass place, people will come to see it. <laughs> Toodles, love y'all. That's I love you in, in sign language. Hold tight, don't forget to share. Smooches, if it's girls, smooches. If it's guys, hey, I'll shake your hand. I always forget something or I mess something up. I got to do cheat sheet because there's so much stuff on here. Like, I'm not kidding. Look at all this stuff. And of course, it's not organized because I took the notes. It's just like me. Unorganized and wild. Stick with me to the end. We've got bloopers, of course. I never make a mistake. <laughs> just ask my wife. We've got more aerials. And I would love for you to subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Those three things make a huge difference in my life, my family's life, and it will bring extra blessings to you. We're gonna hit 100,000, and I wanna take you along for the ride because I'm gonna show you more stuff. And you're gonna to wanna to get on the exclusive buyers list. What it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you some questions. How much do you wanna spend? How much land do you want? Do you need a barn? And then there's a paragraph where you can just write and write and write, and we will find properties that match your exact criteria and send them to you in an email so you'll be alerted first before anyone else, and this is so important in any market, especially this market, you'll be alerted of new properties or price changes of anything on the market that fits your criteria. How cool is that? Okay, pretty simple. Just fill it out. There's the link right up there.
everything gets done at the same time. And, oh jeez, and if cars would stop going by, it's like there's a lake up there or something. All right, we'll start over again. No, oh, we got one more. No, oh, we got two more. Three more. Four more. Must be lunchtime. Not on the list. Do you see where it says center back here, one place? No. 5,200 square feet, three bedrooms, three bedrooms upstairs, three bedrooms upstairs here on the first floor. No. These cars are trying my patience. That was a Porsche, I thought that was nice. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're gonna wanna see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.